The founder of Bayfield's Apple Festival and patriarch of the Erickson's Orchard and Country Store died Sunday at the age of 90. Today, KBGR 6's Ryan Campo spoke with some people who knew Jim Erickson best about the legacy he leaves behind. Everybody knew Jimmy Erickson. Jim Erickson and his wife Muriel took over their rural Bayfield farm back in 1954. Dad just had a way with, with people. Uh, from the Iron Range to southern Wisconsin to wherever you can mention Erickson Orchard and Jimmy Erickson and they'll say, I've been there and I know your dad. The founder of Bayfield's Apple Fest that brings upwards of 60,000 people to the area every year passed away Sunday at the age of 90. One of the things my dad always taught me he says, you know, if you're happy with what you do, it's not work. And now those closest to him are remembering the farmer and the man that he was. When he left this earth uh, on Sunday night, he knew that he left a legacy uh, instilled in myself and my sisters uh, to continue on this farm. And it's clear Erickson's legacy will live on for many more generations as they enjoy the traditions he started. We have generational families that have been coming here for 40, 50 years. Uh, and now their kids are bringing their kids. And it's all because of the love and energy Erickson had when it came to his work and community. He was just such a great promoter of all things Bayfield and especially apples. So um, something that you're so passionate about is really important to you know, continue on and keep promoting and that's exactly what Jim did. A passion and drive he's clearly passed on to his kids. It's not about the money, it's not about anything else, but it's about our legacy that we leave for the, the, the next generation and that they'll want to do the same thing that we did. A celebration of life will take place Friday with a fish fry with family and some of his closest charter fishing friends. The family tells us Erickson Orchards and Country Store will be closed on Friday, but it will be open on Saturday.